Hello all, we are continuing with the dentine tutorials and that we are saying stages of dentine formation. And we should know that the dentine forms the bulk of the tooth and how this dentine is formed that we are going to see. Dentine is secreted by the odontoblast cell which are present in the pulp before the enamel is secreted. Okay, So the ameloblast though they differentiate earlier but the odontoblast they form the dentine first. So dentine is the first heart tissue, first dental heart tissue to form. Form. Okay, and this dentin formation it continues throughout the life of the tooth. It is continuous throughout the life of the tooth. Okay. Yes. So basically, there are three stages of dentin development or the secretion of dentin. We can call it as three phases. Some books are some books have given two phases, but I would like to add a third phase here that is maturation of crystals. So first phase is matrix secretion, mineralization of matrix and third is the maturation of the crystals that is the hydroxyapatite crystals. So let us see the first stage that is the matrix formation by odontoblast. In this there are again two steps. First is the differentiation of odontoblast cell, differentiation of odontoblast cell from the dental papilla by the undifferentiated mesenchymal cells. So the dental papilla has the undifferentiated mesenchymal cells which which forms the preodontoblast and the preodontoblast further are developed as odontoblast cell. So the cell to be called as a odontoblast cell, the cell has certain dimensions. It should be 40 micron meter in height and 7 micron meter in width. Okay, That we will see in detail. Then second step is the secretion of actual matrix or the organic matrix. So first we are seeing the matrix formation by the odontoblast. Now let us uh, discuss something about the development of tooth before we begin with the actual dentin formation. This is the bell stage in the enamel organ. So the enamel organ has four layers here. Outer enamel epithelium. This is the outer enamel epithelium, stelate reticulum, stratum intermedium and the inner enamel epithelium. So the inner enamel epithelium cells will be further developed into preamyloblast and the amyloblast cells. So in a similar way as the changes are taking place in the enamel organ for the differentiation of the inner enamel epithelium cells into the amyloblast, changes are taking place into the dental papilla from the undifferentiated mesenchymal cells or the connective tissue cells in the dental papilla. These cells are differentiated as preodontoblast. They align themselves along the amyloblast border to form the preamyloblast, sorry, the preodontoblast cells, and further these preodontoblast cells will be differentiated into the odontoblast cell. So the first step in secretion of dentine matrix is the differentiation of odontoblast. Now, how this differentiation of odontoblast take place in the dental papilla that we will see. Undifferentiated mesenchymal cells which are transforming into the odontoblast cells or differentiating into the odontoblast cells. So for this, there are certain growth factors which are released by the dental papilla ground substance. These ground substance are nothing but the fibronectin. Fibronectin, decorin. These are the growth factors which are or the signals which are which help in migration of the undifferentiated mesenchymal cells to the preodontoblast cells. So the dental papilla helps the mesenchymal cells to form the preodontoblast cells and these preodontoblast cells further they form into odontoblast. So this is how the odontoblast cell is differentiated. So let us see how this is forming. So as we say, as we have seen this that there are certain growth factors which help the cell to form into the complete mature odontoblast. So this is a maturation of the odontoblast cell. So we can see that the preodontoblast is a small cell or is a cuboidal cell. It is a cuboidal cell which turns out to be a tall columnar cell when it completely differentiates. So what are the changes taking place? First change is that it increases in height and width. Okay. It increases in height and width. The cell organelles, we can see the cell organelles scattered around the nucleus here. The nucleus goes to the base here and the cell nucleus are going to the basal direction. Sorry, the nucleus goes to the apex and the cell organelles goes to the base. And these cell organelles, they secrete the dentine matrix further. So, 
to prepare this cell as a odontoblast this cell increases up to 40 micrometer in height okay and 7 micrometer in width so a completely differentiated odontoblast has certain dimensions 40 micrometer in height and 7 micrometer in width so the nucleus is at the x and the organelles they migrate towards the base so what are the changes that take place in the within the cell is there are certain uh, growth signaling factors again which are secreted from the omeloblast from the ameloblast towards the cell that is tgf insulin growth factor and bone morphogenic protein so these are the major growth factors or signaling molecules which are secreted as epithelial mesenchymal interaction from the enamel organ to to the odontoblast or from the inner enamel epithelium to the odontoblast so that they start secreting the pre-denting layer so here what happens the changes are there is a proline appearance in the golgi complex there are matrix vesicles formed these matrix vesicles they deposit the vesicles at the um, basal junction and then these matrix vesicles attract the calcium salts and further this matrix mineralizes okay so the formation of odontoblast is such that from a pre-odontoblast to a mature odontoblast the cell size increases there are changes in the cell organelle in the cell cell organelles or the organizing stage of the odontoblast so we can call it here as the organizing stage or the pre-secretory stage okay. and this is the differentiated or secretory stage of the odontoblast okay. so when the odontoblast is ready to secrete let us see what happens when the odontoblast is ready to secrete so when it is ready to secrete the pre-denting here in the green we can see the pre-denting here secreted by the odontoblast okay so we have a 7 micrometer width and the 40 micrometer height here and we also have a simultaneously grown pre-amyloblast here differentiated pre-amyloblast from the enam inner enamel epithelium so simultaneously there are changes in the amyloblast also there is a reversal of polarity in the amyloblast that is the nucleus goes to the apex organelles comes to the base and then the signals are sent from the inner enamel epithelium or the amyloblast to the uh, odontoblast to secrete the first layer of dentin okay so first layer of pre-dentin is formed that is the mantle dentin is formed first mantle dentin the pre-dentin or the mantle dentin is formed first so first step is appearance of proline in the golgi complex we can remember it as proteins or pro secretion proteins in line proteins in line so proline is formed here further the matrix uh, vesicles are formed and there how the, this is how the secretion of dentine takes place okay so which are the factors which are the factors which are secreted here or the, which are the proteins which are responsible here are the dentine phosphoprotein is the major factor major protein which is secreted dentine phosphoprotein or dpp it is it is highly anionic anionic and it binds with the calcium and it controls the growth of the appetite crystals then osteonectin it promotes the binding to the collagen it promotes the binding of the calcium to the collagen and controls the hydroxy appetite crystals then osteopontin it promotes the mineralization then glaprotein glaprotein act as a nucleator or the central nidus around which the calcification takes place so act as a seed or nucleator for mineralization then next is the chondroitin sulfate so the chondroitin sulfate acts in a reverse manner that is it promotes mineralization in dentin but prevents mineralization in pre-dentin so these are the proteins or the factors which are responsible in the secretion and formation of the dentin dentin phosphoprotein osteonectin osteopontin glaprotein and chondroitin sulfate so after this what the step what we can what we'll see is the second phase or second step after the matrix secretion is the matrix mineralization so the matrix which is secreted is the organic matrix and which needs to be calcified so for here this is the odontoblast cell odontoblast cell which is secret secreting the green organic matrix so the green organic matrix is soft and it has to be hardened that is it, it has to be calcified so the incorporation of the minerals is, is to be done in a specific manner or a rhythmic manner so the incorporation of the calcium mainly forming the hydroxy appetite crystals so there is need of uh, there is formation of the hydroxy appetite crystals in this uh, pre-dentin so continuous deposition will lead to mineralization so how the mineralization starts is 
with the help of these proteins which we just now discussed dns dentin phosphoprotein dentin xyloprotein osteocontin and osteonectin so these are the proteins which help in incorporation of the calcium salts so the gla proteins act as a seeding uh, seed or a seeding or the nucleating protein for around which the calcium salts deposit and it deposits in a globular or spherulite fashion this is called as a spherulite pattern one pattern is this according to this seeding pattern second that it may form according to the collagen fibrils parallel to the collagen fibril so the calcium deposition may be if this is the pink is the calcium here it will be depositing along the fibers along the collagen fibrils in between the uh, long axis or uh, along the parallel long axis of the collagen fibers so this is how the mineralization of the um collagen fibers or around the collagen fibers will take place okay. so the this deposition further is uh, formation of the hydroxy epitide crystals from this um, calcium salts so uh, typical length of the hydroxy epitide crystals is formed and they are further matured so the so the second step or second phase is the matrix mineralization that just now we have seen matrix mineralization with the help of the um, factors growth factors and the mineralizing factors or the calcium binding factors the third is the maturation phase maturation phase means the elongation of the hydroxyapatite crystal elongation and growth of the hydroxyapatite crystals so The, there is a daily rhythmic deposition of dentin four micron meter per day. Four micron meter dentin is deposited per day till the crown reaches. Till the crown and root is completely formed. Till the crown and root is completely formed, and it reaches to the occlusal level. Okay. Further, it decreases to one micron per day. so here when the 1 micron of width is formed it immediately calcifies and then the growth of the crystals takes place it immediately calcifies and the growth of the crystals it takes place so the growth of the growth of the crystals or the hydroxyapatite crystals is the third phase which is called as the maturation phase so how much is the width of the crystals the hydroxyapatite crystals in the dentin are very small 3 nanometer in width and 100 nanometers in height or length 3 nanometers in width and 100 nanometers in length and they are 300 times smaller than enamel 300 times smaller than enamel so that is all what we have seen today